Do you know that Ghana just teamed up with Switzerland on a $200 million clean energy project? Yep, it's one of the biggest renewable energy partnership in West Africa. And if it works as planned, it could completely change how Ghana powers its future. It aims to mobilize about 200 million um, US dollars in also private sector funding for investments in solar panels on roofs of both commercial and, uh, and private buildings. Now, let's talk about Ghana's current energy mix for a second. Right now, we get 60% of our electricity from hydropower, around 30% from thermal plants that uses natural gas or oil, and less than 5% from renewable energies like solar and others. So yeah, we are still heavily dependent on fossil fuel and the Akosobo Dam. That is why this new project matters so much. Together, Ghana and Switzerland are pulling out a $200 million clean energy program. It's all about installing 4,000 rooftop solar systems for homes, schools, small businesses, and even some factories. When it's all up and running, you have about 137 megawatts of clean solar power, all generated right here in Ghana. Things. And we are talking about uh, 4,000 of these installations. And this is, of course, a very worthwhile investment because we all know uh, in Ghana the sun shines almost every day, right? So why is this a big deal? Every rooftop that goes solar means less pressure on the national grid, lower electricity cost, and fewer power cuts. It also means cleaner air, more reliable power for small businesses, and fewer imports of expensive fuel. Plus, this partnership with Switzerland is more than just money. It's a technology exchange and carbon credit deal. That means Switzerland supports Ghana's green energy transition and in return, count some of the carbon saving towards its global climate goals. So, it is a win-win situation. And here is the best part. This project is also Ghana's first major clean energy initiative under the Paris Climate Agreement. It shows the world that Ghana is serious about cutting emissions and building a sustainable, independent energy future. And just you think that's a big news, another clean energy milestone has been announced. This time, it's about powering Ghana's industrial revolution. President John Ramani Mahama has officially cut sword for the Dawa Solar Park, a massive new project that will provide clean, stable power directly to factories and industries in the Dawa Industrial Zone. The goal is to make Ghana's manufacturing sector greener, more competitive, and less dependent on the national grid. The Dawa Solar Park is designed to boost local production while slashing industrial energy costs. A crucial step as Ghana pushes to become a regional manufacturing hub. It clean power fueling rare economic growth, exactly what the country needs. The Solar for Industries project is not just a power plant. It is a message that Ghana is prepared to lead the next phase of Africa's industrial renaissance, energized by the sun, propelled by innovation, and upheld by our collective determination. As we cut the sword, let us remember that every light that shines from this solar park will illuminate not just the factories and homes, but the aspirations of millions of Ghanaians whose dreams rely on energy and power. As we embrace the 24-hour economy, Ghana's need for dependable power will grow across all sectors, manufacturing, food processing, mining, textiles, and ICT. Projects like this will enable that expansion to be both possible and sustainable. Under the National Renewable Energy Master Plan, we've set an ambitious target to achieve a minimum of 15% renewable energy share by the year 2030. Through initiatives such as SFI, we're advancing this goal and aligning Ghana with the global clean energy transition. This will enable our industries to stay competitive under the new global trade regulations, including the European Union's Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism, which will soon penalize exports from any country with a high carbon footprint. Investing in solar-powered industrial parks today helps protect Ghanaian jobs, maintains market access, and positions our industries to compete and export confidently under the African Continental Free Trade Area 
and other trade agreements we have with other parts of the world. So, from the Ghana Switzerland rooftop solar rollout to Dawa Industrial Solar Park, one thing is clear Ghana is serious about its clean energy transition. These projects aren't just lighting homes, they are powering the next generation of industries, jobs, and innovation. The sun is rising on a new Ghana, clean, industrial, and unstoppable. And that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. And this is AS1 Report. Thank you very much for watching. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Macrao.